let's have a little look at price fox repricer okay so over here you can see items left on your repricer so 148 items can still be loaded onto price fox repricer that i have in my ebay store um i've only got two listed on here for this video right so it's to show you how it works you can show how many you want to list on the page um on this page itself over here, you've got the image of the items that's listed on your repricer, on Pricefox repricer, the title, the item ID, the supplier's link. So if you click on it, it goes to the supplier's link itself. The last supplier's price, or the price that you had, that the supplier has on their supplier link, it's the last one before it was updated. The supplier shipping, if your supplier charges shipping, it will tell you right there. The current price is 1735, for example, is what you're selling it as. The quantity, how many you have sold, the last time that the repricer checked, and the last checked status success or not success. So over here, this is how you would be. You could force update. Okay, at the moment there's nothing here. You can force update by by hand. So you do it by yourself. Update success. Now it's synchronizing with your store, you know, to make sure that your repricer and your eBay store are exactly the same. Okay, so it updates live. Then you can pause the listing or you can end, take it off from your repricer. So you can pause the repricer on PriceFox or you can end and remove it from the PriceFox repricer. All right, so another way um, that you can do some things is you can bulk force check it so if you tick on say if only you want to check this one and this one or three or four from all the items of your repricer you can force check all of them together okay so if you force check all of them together it will tell you the quantity has decreased in one of these it will tell you the quantity is the same in that one the price is the same etc etc all the details that you want to know and we can just update it's items that will be updated. It will tell you how many will be updated should it need to be updated over here. Okay, so let's update. Okay, so that has been updated and perfect. So if you want to update the settings of both items, you can update the settings right here. So if you had 10 items that's in the repricer, for example. So let's say I had all 180, 48 items in here and you only choose these two to be, to change bulk settings. You are able to do this. You can manually go ahead and you can do this. So you can change all the things that you want to change. If you only want to change certain things, for example, the selling, other selling fees and the PayPal fees, you can change that here. The Amazon options, you can change that here as well. And you can make the changes. Or for only those few updates, you can update the quantity. So for these two, I would want to have, say, five of the items available on my store. You can go ahead and you can do that right here and make the change. Or if you only want a select items to increase or decrease the profit, so you want to increase it by 2%, you're able to do that right here and make the changes. Okay, so if you wanted to remove it from the repricer in bulk, you can remove it right there in bulk. Again, this is the repricer for Refo repricer for PriceFox um, and how you're able to use the repricer settings on PriceFox.